Alright guys, this is Nicky Salzman 1016 and I'm here to do my review of my one week with my Galaxy Note 2. Overall the phone is fast, no lag, no shutdowns, no errors. Pretty straight up buttery fluid. The slow motion camera is awesome, although the quality is not the best. The SM features are many that you need to learn, and many more things I will talk about. Games give no lag. I play Grand Theft Auto 3. Granny Smith, all well, the high end games, Asphalt 7. As you can see there, Asphalt 7. Dead Trigger, and the new release, Need for Speed Most Wanted, which is graphically intense. Run buttery smooth. No problems, no nothing. I also play this zombie, zombie wood, and no lag. Couple features I have found is when I turn on my phone and it's charging. I turn it back on, and I usually go like this. And it'll show me that real quick. I'm not sure if I could do that without even doing that. But I guess some type of thing up there. Oh, well, you guys saw that. I currently have the Extreme Guard on it. I got it for four dollars. It's not the best or easiest protection you could put for a for a new. Takes time, water and soap solution. They say not to put a sprint screen protector, but I went ahead and did it, and it did not affect the performance of the stylus or the phone itself. It's on the back and the front, as you. It's the same thing as the Invisa Shield. So there's not many problems. The camera with the burst focus shots takes good clear shots. Even in taking in uh, capturing a picture in motion as follows. It's this one. Everything blurs out except the person right there. You can't really see it from here. But everything else is blurred except for where I was trying to capture. I did find that you could change the icons by pressing this little button over here. You could change it this way. You could change it this way. And you could change it back to the folder. The next feature that everybody should know about is this hover. Hovering before you could even touch it. Shows you the preview of what you're gonna see. You can see the little blue dot. That's where the note sees the stylus. You could do this in the gallery. Let's see. Or you could do this with your email. Go ahead and 
title. The title, as you can see, or the email itself. Another one, you click the button on your stylus and you hold it and you can clip anything, anywhere, anytime as follows. It has to be a perfect circle, so there you see, toward 31st. You have the option of opening it in some pro programs like S-Memo and editing it and there is some preloaded apps that come for the stylus on this T-Mobile Note the preloaded software was Need for Speed Most Wanted the game wasn't available until Today morning, which was supposed to be yesterday, but I guess they have a, they had a problem or something. Paper artist, um, also SMMO, SHS, T-Mobile Blood Rules, T-Mobile My Account, the Need for Speed game, this, this, and that. That's all there was that came with it from T-Mobile. I haven't had any problems at all. Like I said earlier, no sh shutdowns. No, nothing. The only thing is that when I play video games for a while, the phone gets hot behind here in the back. I don't think there's a problem with that, but just letting people know it gets hot up there. Not too hot, but you know, letting you know you're using your phone to max power. Um, some other features that you might know if you had the Galaxy S3 are when you add a widget let me see when you want to add a widget or move a widget you hold it and you use motion you don't have to swipe or anything you just use motion and wherever you want you put it there and that's it you could resize some apps, but I haven't had any apps that need to be resized. Another feature that you can use motion is email. You go to the top, you scroll in through your email, and you tap the top, and it goes back to the top, as you saw. This has to tap, so there, let's see. Oh god, turned it off. As you saw, there's the motion where you go on the internet or a picture or whatever you want to see. It has to be a full um, has to be a full website in order to for this to work. You put two fingers on the screen. And you use motion to zoom in and out, as you see. You see, in, out. And, out. And then, same as tapping. The screenshot, you swipe, you have, I think you have three options. The only one that I know at the moment is you just swipe and you take a picture instantly. I don't know if this is incorporated into this one. Uh, there we go. And you can just edit it and ask me more whatever you want to edit it on there. It'll ask you which browser you want. You obviously the original is the gallery. So that is always. And you could go up here and it'll ask you where you want to share it by you can put S memo if you want to edit it
or if you want any of the other options group cast or Wi-Fi direct which is also in connectivity with NFC it does come with Google now very accurate what's the weather for tomorrow You could ask a variety of questions to be more specific, but I don't use it a lot. It does show me I do have sports in my home also connected to it, so it, when I'm at work or anything, it shows me how long traffic is whenever I want to go home or when I have my picked sports teams. So when I go to Google right here, it shows me all my information that I usually just go by, which is my, you see? Chicago Bulls, the weather, and I just should put show more cards and or show me more stuff. This I don't care about that place. See, there's my red to work, whatever. So it shows me stuff. I could ask her, did the Bears win? Did the Bears win? There you go. Pretty quick and accurate. No problems. Stock Android Jelly Bean. Don't plan on rooting or modifying anyway. It's quite fun as it is.